go. I got it. Yes! So, I got it. It is very easy. It's not just blank pieces of paper. It actually is real stuff that I've written down to show you the secrets to generating $100,000. Trust me on this. In your first year or two? It can be done. I have done it. And I will give you all of the insight that you need. So that way you can go ahead and do the same thing, if not better. It's really a secret. I, I want to give it to you guys because you deserve it. Get you some paper and obviously a pen, but we're in a day and age now. We don't need to write it down. We just need to have it written down. Does that make sense? You can use your phone to write down your goals. Ask these questions. First question is to ask, how do I get these clients to get to my 100,000 goals? Keep some space up under it, like three to four lines, so that way you can write down some answers that come from the top of your head. And also ask other people that are in the industry that can kind of help you as well. The next part of it is still asking another question, but you need to say, well, how do I get more exposure so I can get more people to be attracted to my services? Uh. Money make the world go round. I'm trying to get it all right now. Everybody worried about the crown bit. Look, call me on the man right now. Talking to a PI kind of time. We all jump. Write down the rest of your questions that you may have that are in your head. Because if they stay in your head, they're only dreams. You already know that. You know where I'm going with that too. So, but just make sure you write down these. Write down the first step of it is just the questions. The next set of questions are the next part of this that you need to write down. Problem is you don't know your prices. Another problem is, did you actually build your skill yet? Write down all your problems. Every problem that you ever deal with that you may think that you're gonna face in this. What happens when you mess up on a car? That's a problem. What happens with the customer service part when it starts to dip below because you're getting a little too busy? That's a problem. What happens with the customer service if you're not busy? Once you've already written down your problems, you don't have to answer them just yet. You're just keeping writing down all of the rest of the parts of your goals because now it comes to the mini steps. Mini steps are what help you get to your goals. Now there are other things below mini steps are micro steps. Micro steps are helping you get to your goals of the mini steps. So what are the mini steps? Mini steps are how much can I make monthly to reach my goal of 100K, all right? The next thing is what type of projects can make me reach my goal on the monthly scale? Also, you gotta keep in mind what are the steps that you need to take in those mini steps. So let's say this, hmm, it will help if you actually made a schedule to help you post more of your content that you will get shortly. Now here are the micro steps. This is where you write down your actions that you need to do on a daily basis. You need to reach out to this amount of people on this type of social media platform. You need to reach out to this amount of people on a face-to-face. -face. You need to, this is what you write down, I need to blank. I need to blank. I need to be more consistent on posting daily. I need to generate more content to post consistently. I need to wrap this part of this card to show more people that are attracted to wrapping hood wraps and everything and so forth. These are what helps you. Micro steps, go to the mini steps, go to the main steps of reaching your goal. The main steps is what you always been doing. That's your aspirations, those are your, like you said, make sure the main steps are something we don't even have to write down because it goes main goal, that's your main step, then it goes to mini, then micro. After you finish writing it down, this is where you analyze the market, but don't undercut the industry. Now, how do you analyze the market? Well, this is where you start to do your research. Doing your research is gonna help benefit you a whole lot because now you understand how many types of cars, let's say Mopar is in your city, everywhere. And the next one is Mercedes-Benz, everywhere. The third one is a lot of SUVs, soccer mom cars and everything like that. Well, that should tell you that these people like to have their cars, but everyone has the same car. Now, you do know this. You're gonna be the person customizing. So that's where you fill the void and show them, hey, your car looks just like everybody else's. I know you wanna be different, let me help you with that. You start to do the research, seeing that more and more people want a hood wrap, or a roof wrap, or a full wrap, or just chrome deletes. 
different types of things for these different types of vehicles for that to make it more personal for the your potential client is what the research that you need to do see what is the most reliable car for that year see what is the one that is the most expensive see what's the one that most people have bought for the past couple years and now you get to understand what everybody has, what everybody drives, what everybody customizes. In my online Build Your Business class, I walk you through step by step on how to analyze the industry and how to also make sure that you profit every time. But let's go ahead and get back more into this secrets to making 100 grand wrapping cars in a year. You better not undercut the industry while doing this. And what do I mean by this? If the industry is charging, let's say $5,000, do not go in charge 300, what are you doing? Does it make sense? It will not help you, it won't help the industry. Reason why is because you know, as well as I know, 300 is not gonna cover any of the costs. You're just trying to get the client in there, and then before you know it, they're like, well, dang, what? I thought that was covered in this. I thought that was covered. What about this? What is this covered? What is the $300 for? I'm like, oh, that's the consultation fee. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you knew. No, 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 no. Charge the price of the industry because it's the industry standard. The price goes along with the quality, goes along with the service, goes along with everything else that fits in that. So it's called it for a reason. Do it. Don't think that you can, oh bro, I can collect the, cut it. Cut your words, but don't cut the industry. When you don't undercut the industry, you build a platform just for you. You make profit. You are helping yourself grow to build your future team and your future shop. But in the beginning, you must only buy what you need or what you can afford. You can't give a $1,500 lift or a $500 set of wheel dollies in your beginning if you don't have a budget for it. Buy what you can get, get the essentials. In this link right here, you'll see a video where we have the $500 wrap kit list that will help you build yourself in your home garage. Click it, I bet you'll like it. But only get what you need. If you can't afford this, get the corded one. Corded one may be a little bit cheaper, maybe a little bit more budget friendly. It works great for you. It's gonna get the job done. Get what you can get. Because you don't wanna go broke doing this before you even start clearing profit. We're not gambling here. But you are betting on yourself. So make sure that you always win. And this next part, you have to use social media to generate some of your clients, but also use word of mouth. Word of mouth is not dead, you just have to use it in a way that works correctly for this day and age. You can't treat it like how you was back in the 90s, for the people that do remember the 90s, as a, a music artist and you be like, hey, just listen to my tape. Cut it, don't, we don't, mm -mm. No, in this industry you have to be a little bit creative and thinking, if you was in their shoes, how would you have somebody approach you that would interest you? So going to car meets would definitely help you. Going to other events would also help you. And make sure that you bring business cards. Now this is the kicker right here. In this day and age, you don't have to have a big stack of business cards, especially if you go to events, which you need mobile digital business cards. Because you can have one card, and give it to a thousand people, but still keep that one card. Just tap their phone, let them see the QR code, and then they can go ahead and follow you from there. This is gonna be great because it's a great icebreaker and you don't have the typical problems of having a physical business card. No one wants a stack of business cards after they come from an event thinking that they're gonna contact everyone in that business card pile that they have now. No, they're gonna put it in their wallet, dump it in there and they'll save it for later, which is a year later, and guess what? They're gonna forget to call you because they got 20 other people that was right before you that gave them business cards. Well, be a little bit more innovative. The fifth one is keep your overhead low. Hold on, sorry, one second. I gotta cut off these lights just because I gotta save some money. Joking, joking, joking. Yes, 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 you do need to keep your overhead low, you do need to start off with what you can handle. So if you need to work in your garage, which I strongly recommend, if you do not have a garage, it is a-okay. There are other alternatives to it, such as teaming up with another type of customization shop, such as a tin shop, a detail shop, a body shop, wherever, or 
team up with somebody that's another family member that is interested in doing the same thing that you're doing. And if they have a garage, then you do that. Or you go ahead and get your small tent outside of your place and go ahead and start doing smaller projects. That may take an hour that you can still have it fully covered and make sure that the job gets done correctly. Now doing larger projects, I wouldn't recommend. Have it in a full enclosure away from the elements. Keep your overhead low, really low. Low, 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 low. But if you go ahead and get you a shop and you're spending 1500 to two grand to 3500 a month just for rent and you still have to pay for insurance, you still have to pay for utilities and all these other little things of getting your business established in that location, now you're spending and you didn't even clear profit yet. You don't even know if you can really get the clients to hold up that space. Now you're spending out of your own pocket. Don't do that. This is the reason why I want you to keep your overhead low. Come, come. Because once it's low, now you can stack up and make profit and then prepare yourself for the following year to get the shop that you want or the next two years to get the shop that you ideally want in the location that you want and you do not have to stress off of, oh, the next project is gonna pay for this rent. Oh, cut that, stop it. You're not gonna get to your 100 grand mark that way. Once you build your skills, now it's time for you to build your portfolio so you can attract the ideal clients that you want. With you building your portfolio, you're not gonna get the ideal clients you want because the ideal clients you want don't trust you just yet because you're new. They don't see all the work that you've done. They don't see any of the work that you've done. And that's why I want to break down the difference between your now clients and your ideal later clients. So this here is your now client. This person is ready to go ahead and get something done by you. They don't care what type of work that you've done. They see the price is pretty good. They, they know that you're new. You probably gave them a deal. And they're ready to get something done. It's a small project. They are gonna help you build up everything that you need to get to this client right here, which is your ideal client. Your ideal client is gonna go ahead and get you catapulted to your next part of keeping getting more clients like this. But you're also gonna get clients like this too. And they're gonna keep coming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But you wanna make sure that you're always building your portfolio for this client because this client helps you get this client. Number seven goes back to number one because you have to write this one down, which is how to find your ideal client that you really want. Your ideal client is not gonna come in the beginning like I said earlier, but your ideal client is coming because you're already building a portfolio, but who is that ideal client? Is it the doctor that just got their new practice? Or is it the dental hygienist? Or is it the McDonald's manager that just got that Hellcat? How he got it, how she got it, I don't know. But uh, hey, some McDonald's do way better than others. Just know that they got it and that is your ideal client. So locate who they are, what they do, find out their hobbies, see the events that they like to go to. Therefore, you can find other people that are your ideal clients just like they are, and then you can expand on that. And now, when you come through with your icebreaker, which is your dot card or whichever one that you choose, we had plenty of different ones that we've used before, but you're gonna go to them, reach out to them, talk to them, have a simple conversation, and the question always happens, what do you do? That's when you grin and you say, hey, I'm a rapper. Now you go from there. And they're gonna sit there and like, oh, this guy's a rapper? This girl's a rapper? Oh, okay. Let me see one of your videos. Let's see what type of music you make. And that's when you can actually pull out your phone. As you can see, I did a little wear and tear. But you can pull out your phone and show them a video. Time lapse, full on video, YouTube video, whatever video that you want to show them, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it. But I promise you, they're gonna follow you. Number eight. It's very simple, but it's one of the hardest ones to do and keep doing it. And that's staying consistent, consistently posting, reaching out to people, going to events, handing out your business card, talking to new people, getting new clients and rinse and repeat. It may get tiring, but it's rewarding. So set yourself a schedule so you do not get yourself burnt out, tired, but just don't feel like doing it. Because if you don't feel like doing it, that means you don't want to make your 100K. Number nine also goes number eight, and that is being creative. Because if you're not creative, then you're just in the pile of everybody else who's like, hey guys, are you a rep? You want to get you a rep? No, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants the dull, boring, 
ordinary type person. They want high energy. They want somebody that's ecstatic, making sure that they are ready to do a project. And they're like, yeah, I would love to do that project. Not, hey, you know, we, could, we could knock it out for you. No, they want to be enthused just like you are enthused and they want to see that finished look and make sure that that's what they wanted. So don't be like this door and closed minded. <laughs> don't do that. Yes, I gave another dad joke. You already know that. And if you don't know how to be creative, just look it up. Just see different ideas, different styles, and just start emulating, not imitating. Now I had to get sophisticated for number 10 because you only need to take on what you can handle. Yes, the money may sound really good, really high price, but if you can't handle that project and you're about to practice on someone's car because you've never done that type of project before, you're bound to fail. Don't do that. Take on what you can handle. Do the small jobs. The small jobs will keep paying you consistently and get you up to the bigger jobs for you to then start practicing on your own time to handle those big projects. That's what you wanna do. Make sure you can handle those big projects on your own time so when you do have those, it's called practice if you want to know. Yes, practice. I'm not saying spend a thousand, 1500, 3500 just for a whole roll of vinyl that you want to practice on doing a box truck or something. No, no, no. Invest in taking a class. We have classes on teaching you how to rap as well so you can build your skill and you can ask us questions on things that may be a little bit too complex for you, and then we can show you and break it down to where it is understandable and you can do it. But in the beginning, start off with what you can only handle. Because if not, you're gonna have a mouthful of stuff and you can't finish your plate. And guess who's mad? The client. Give y'all a bonus too. Yes, it's okay to make mistakes. This is the bonus right here. I understand everyone's human. You're going to make mistakes. Make sure those mistakes do not destroy your business. Don't do that. That's a, that's a no no. That's a no no. If you're about to make a mistake and you know you're about to make it, stop! Ask questions. Talk to the other people so that way you can find a solution before you actually make that mistake. Now, there's other mistakes that you may make that you didn't know it was about to happen, but you need to be in contact with other people that are above you. When I say above you, that have done this before and ask them, how would I fix this? Do I need to redo this? Do I tell the client on this one? And how do I address it to them so that way they don't feel like it is the end of the world? Now, congratulations. That is the secret formula to making $100,000 in your first year. Now, go ahead and ex execute. Execute, execute. Plan it and go ahead and do what you need to do. Win. I got faith in you. If you need help, contact me. I'm always here to help too. Let's start back at square one. You need to go ahead and start rapping. Either you can join a class, which we do provide, or you can learn online, which we also provide. But before you start rapping your car, you should watch this video right here. So that way we can help you with the seven greatest tips on wrapping your car by yourself.